we're making our way up to number one on our countdown of the 101 most unforgettable SNL moments. And now, it's time to boldly go where no Saturday Night Live host has ever gone before. The William Shatner Star Trek convention sketch is probably one of my favorite SNL bits of all time. Yes, beaming onto our countdown at number 71 is Captain James T. Kirk himself, William Shatner, taking a good-natured poke at his socially awkward fans. Um, like when you, um, left your quarters for the last time and you, you opened up your safe, um, what was the combination? <laughs> Shatner making fun of the Trekkies is incredibly ballsy because that's his bread and butter. I'm a huge Trekkie and I really am one of those guys at the convention. I was the guy that would wear the ears and put on the uniform. I, who had entertained these 15,000 people at a time, never kind of thought about who's out there. I still can watch that clip and laugh my ass off. Get a life, will you people? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean for, for crying out loud, it's, it's just a TV show. <laughs> I mean, look at you. Look at the way you're dressed. <laughs> you, 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 you've turned an enjoyable little job that I did as a lark for a few uh, years into a colossal waste of time. I remember William Shatner being the host going to a Star Trek convention and telling people to get a life and asking if anyone had ever kissed a girl. He risked pissing off all these little nerds. It actually hit a little too close to home in my case. I don't know if I had kissed a girl. You know that he's been wanting to say that forever. He's reached the apex, obviously. I think he was probably more worried if he did that with TJ Hooker fans. Those guys are messed up. Don't bust on Zmed on live TV. Before he beamed onto Star Trek, William Shatner was actually a classically trained actor, not unlike the next guy on our camera. You heard it here. And you can catch Denny Crane, a.k.a. William Shatner, on an all-new Boston Legal tonight on ABC. But first, Jerry Pinnacoli reveals how Captain Kirk is living long and prospering. William Shatner is going where no man has gone before, on tour with millions of Trekkies in tow. The largest Star Trek exhibition ever done. And Captain James T. Kirk came to the extra set armed with memorabilia from the TV series and all 10 movies. So here's an original communicator. Communicator. I love this. A real Tribble. If anybody remembers the famous episode, The Trouble with Tribbles, <laughs> Shatner will serve as the tour's ambassador and plans on making personal appearances. Tell us here and now one secret from back then that you've never revealed about Star Trek. I never watched Star Trek. What? Set phasers to stunned. <laughs> you have never seen a Star Trek episode? Are, are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding. Self-conscious? Yes. A far cry from his Boston legal alter ego, Denny Crane. <laughs> well, maybe not. And Shatner apparently has a new pal on the set, new senior partner, John Larroquette, who revealed the um, sizable details of their first meeting to our AJ Calloway. He looked at me and he said, you have so much hair. And to make him feel at, at ease, I said, yes, but I have a very small penis. Did he um, say that? I was oh. shocked. Oh. <laughs> that he what, would that tell me small? the size of his... <laughs> yes, my... <laughs> Look for Big Bill to beam into Star Trek The Tour, coming to a city near you. Beam me up extra. And coming to a theater near you in December, the all-new Shatner-less Star Trek The Movie from director J.J. Abrams. See the entire trailer at extratv.com. All right, all right, let's see if this works. All right. Beam me up, Mark E. My pleasure. Yeah, yeah, right. Whoa, it works. I do that more often. You want it? You got it. You want it? Baby, just bust a move. I wanted to chill, but making all of my travel arrangements was freaking me out. So I went to Priceline.com, where you can name your own price for some dope airfare, a hip hotel, a fly rental car. You want some of this? Then you know what to do, dog. Bust a move. Yeah.